Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told out of voice radio. So today, we need to be having a look at a pair of item cards. Well, a pair of trainer cards, which are going to be coming out in Unbroken Bonds. And which are going to be exceedingly good at helping out all of these fire Pokemon. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a gander, shall we? It's Fire Crystal, and it is Welder. And shout out to the lovely Joe from Cerebi.net and the lovely David Hockman for helping us out with the translations here. So, starting off with Welder then. Welder is a supporter card. And it reads, apparently, attach up to two Fire Energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon if you do draw free cards, that just makes sure that you cannot just use it to draw free cards. Now, to be honest, if you just wanted to draw free cards, you could use how. So I'm not 100% convinced on that one, but you get to attach extra energy cards from your hand. This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how many of you remember, but there was a supporter card a while ago which, let's say, did not fill us with joy. It was the Masked Royal. It took a while to come out over here. And it read that you could attach an extra basic energy card from your hand to a Stage 2 Grass, Fire, or Water Pokemon. That's weak, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely weak. But that's okay. We all just ignored it. This is not the same. This is in no way, shape, or form the same as that. This is two fire energy. Now, it's only fire energy, admittedly. But it's two fire energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. And then you draw three cards. One of the awkward things with cards like Mina, that let you search your deck for a basic energy, a fairy, and attach it to one of your Pokemon, is that you're using your supporter for the turn. So stuff like Cynthia can't be used. You're not drawing any cards. You're just getting the extra energy. Well, this here just doesn't care. Because here we can go, well, this is fine. Because I'm drawing my free cards as well. Now, the biggest downside of this is you've got to actually have the energy in your hand to do this. And that's not ideal. Now, the good news is we did get Fiery Flint in Dragon Majesty, which is an item card that, if you discard two cards from your hand, lets you search your deck for four fire energy and put them into your hand. This is lovely, because now you can use this and you're rolling. And if you really want, don't forget we're getting Lieutenant Surge's strategy in the same set so you can actually play two welder here using lieutenant surge which is very nice and remember lieutenant surge doesn't say you've got to play the supporters consecutively so you can basically play welder draw three cards and hopefully draw a new welder and then play that to get another couple of energy or have two welder in hand but not quite having enough energy so you play the first one hoping to draw enough energy to then make it worth playing the second one and this gives a huge advantage to fire decks. Now, to answer a ruling query some of you may have, yes, if you use this to attach fire energy to Eevee, you can evolve it up into Flareon, because Flareon evolves from Eevee when you attach a fire energy from your hand to Eevee. And okay, you're attaching this using a supporter. It is extra energy you're allowed to attach just because you played a supporter. But that is not what's important. The only thing that's important here is that you are attaching from your hand. And you very much are attaching from your hand. So this absolutely, totally counts here. You can use it to evolve Eevee into Flareon. And Flareon is clearly a very good use for this. Flareon is a very standard fire Pokemon. You do a bunch of damage but discard a bunch of energy. 190 damage for a fire fire colorless but you got to discard two fire energy so next turn you just use welder to put it back this is actually blacksmith 
except you're attaching from your hand, not from your discard, and then you're drawing free cards. Make no mistake about it, if this just attached an extra two energy from your hand, I would think this is a very good card. But the fact that it actually attaches and then lets you draw free cards is almost like taking the mick good in a good way. And it's not like fire decks were short of tricks. We already had Kiawe. We already had Heat Factory Prism Star. We've got some good stuff for fire Pokemon. This will help. And at this stage, we need to circle back to Charizard and Reshiram. Because, you see, that is another Pokemon that likes lots of energy. This basically says we got two good attacks here. Four energy 230, or three energy 200, add an extra three, and it does 300 and goes through effects of attacks. So you're going to need some extra energy attachments along the way. And this can work. Now, I know Kiawe gets four energy from the deck, but Kiawe also ends your turn. That's not ideal, ladies and gentlemen. That is not ideal at all. But here, you only attach two, but you also get to draw three cards. And I cannot stress how good that is. How much good is it? It's better than how. <laughs> Okay, that's the last how pun we're doing in this particular video. Now, there is another card I need to bring your attention to. And although it could have had its own video, these are way too paired for me to do them separately. And this is Fire Crystal. I should mention both of these cards were revealed in Koro Koro Magazine. And I'll say what I always say when I talk about Koro Koro. If they print it in Britain, even in Japanese, I'm buying it every single month and i would be delighted fire crystal says put free fire energy cards from your discard pile into your hand it's an item card that picks up free fire energy and obviously at this stage you're probably seeing the fairly obvious combo with welder welder attaches two energy from your hand this picks up free from the discard. Bearing in mind there are all kinds of Pokemon like the aforementioned Flareon that will discard energy when you attack with them. It is one of the MO of fire decks. Obviously not Blacephalon. Blacephalon lost zones them. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, pretty relevant. And here's the thing. I actually don't really like Fiery Flint very much. I know, right? That sounds really mean to say, but I don't like having to discard the cards from my hand. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll play it if I need to, it's useful. But I like this Fire Crystal way, way more than I like Fiery Flint. And if you're really worried about getting the energy in the discard, don't forget we got Shuckle in Lost Thunder. Shuckle from Lost Thunder, when you play it to the bench, discards free basic energy from your deck. So if you're thinking, well, you know, this is only good when you've got basic energy in your discard. Yeah, Shuckle's a thing, so don't worry about it. Just use Shuckle. To put this into context, we've long had energy retrieval, which lets you pick up two energy. This lets you get free. We recently got energy recycle system, which is well, it, it is basically Rescue Stretcher, but for energy. You can either get one energy into your hand, or you can get free energy, but shuffle them into your deck. This lets you get free energy into your hand. And let's be clear, right, this is not just for use with Welder. Reshiram is another great use for this. Reshiram's GX attack does 180 damage and lets you attach 5 basic fire from your hand to your Pokemon. But you can only actually do this if you've got the basic fire in your hand. That, ladies and gentlemen, is where Reshiram comes in. Reshiram has got yo back. This is beautiful. This is a really nice pair of cards. I'm not entirely sure Fire needed much support. And certainly when we looked at Reshiram and Charizard, we didn't mention these cards. And I wasn't worried about a lack of Fire support. But make no mistake about it. These are good cards. I am going to be giving Fire Crystal four Wossies. It's great and it's better than the alternatives. But it is just for Fire decks.
And I'm going to immediately go against that. And I'm going to be giving Welder five Wassies. It's a five Wassie card. And yes, it's only for fire decks. But attaching two extra energy is great. Drawing three cards makes it as good as a supporter card, which sees some play, albeit fairly niche and only a little bit, but it still does see play. Having both of them in one supporter, who's not playing this in fire decks? I mean, I imagine Blacephalon will play a couple of these because it gets extra energy on the field. It's like B-String. And then it lets you draw three cards. And yes, I know B-String's from the deck and this is from the hand. But I stand by my point. It's still a great card. This is going to be loved by fire decks. So, frankly, Double Blaze has only just started leaking. And it's starting to look an awful lot like fire decks are going to be incredibly happy. But ladies and gentlemen... I would very much like to know what you think about these cards. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, but be nice, would ya? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Plays, where we talk about other games. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would you? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.